back to my channel, YouTube. My name is John Deke. My channel is called John Deke Toy Reviews and More. And today, I'm doing something a little different here. I started thinking to myself, you know, what are great ways of, of cleaning my figures? And by mistake, totally by mistake, I ran across this kit that Sideshow Collectibles sells called the uh, Collectible Care Kit. It's actually a kit that has different you know, components in here and, and tools and stuff to help you maintain your figures and keep them clean. So it was actually a really, really inexpensive product. I think it's $15, um, $14.99. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna pick this up, test it out and see if it's worth you know, keeping around and, and using to clean my figures. Cause we all know that dust is our enemy. <laughs> so, um, and then I have a Mr. Marty McFly here. I know that he's been sitting in my display case. He's got a little bit of dust on the display stand and you know, maybe somewhere on his, his coat, he might have a little bit of dust, hopefully not too much. And uh, we're gonna use him as a test subject. But the first thing I wanna do is let's look inside this kit and see what comes with it. Here's the box. It's just a plain box. It's, it's about an inch thick, sideshowcollectibles.com, collectible care kit. And then on the back, you're going to have the Sideshow logo, uh, contact us, their phone number, made in China, and uh, you know all the legal mumbo jumbo. Once you open up the kit, you're actually going to get a general care and maintenance guide that tells you what all the tools are that you get and just gives you various different advice on what you can use. So this kit is gonna come with a brush, a lint roller, a cloth, some tweezers, some scissors, and uh, I think that might actually be it. But this is really, really awesome. They, they took the time to go over all of the different suggestions that Sideshow has. Here is what's going to come with the kit. First thing you're gonna get is going to be a brush. Just a small little brush. Uh, sort of reminds me of like a, a makeup brush, uh, which is good. Then you're going to get a small set of scissors, which I like because there's nothing worse than when you're trying to use a pair of scissors and the holes are too small and your finger constantly gets stuck in it. So this is really cool. It's like a little small set of scissors. Then you're going to receive this white cloth and you're going to get a pair of tweezers. The tweezers are actually made of metal. So that's really good. And they have a very fine tip on them so you can, you know, grab things precisely. And the final thing you're going to receive in this kit is going to be a Sideshow Collectibles branded lint brush. Now, I'm sure a lot of you out there are thinking to yourself, well, why do I need this kit? I can probably just go buy everything at Target or at a dollar store. Well, you can, but if you wanna just get one kit that has everything in, in it and it's 15 bucks, then you know this might might be worth it. Let's go ahead and the first thing I want to do, just sort of like try out the little brush that comes with it. And what I would do personally is I would just, you know, go over and, and gently brush off the face sculpt, maybe get behind the ears, the eyes. It's a very, very fine brush. It's super soft, so you're, you don't have to worry about, you know, scratching your face uh, sculpt, your head sculpt, or your head. What you wanna do is not push really hard because the upper part of the brush is metal and that will definitely scratch the, uh, the head sculpt. But just very gently, you know, very lightly brush away any dust that may have, you know, accumulated on the figure. Cause you know, Marty is, uh, he's an old man now. I've had him for, well, I guess, I don't know, three years now, two and a half years. So you kind of just brush it away, brush out any dust that may have accumulated in the back of the collar, 
can brush the accessories, his hands, anywhere that you think that dust could have gotten on. Next, let's try this little mini lint brush. And what I personally would do is just gently lift the figure and just kind of roll it lightly on his pants or his clothes, whatever the figure you're using. Just make sure that the figure that you're using the lint brush on uh, is not you know, going to remove any of the paint or if there's paint on the pants or the suit or, or if it's, just be super careful. I don't want you guys to like get this kit and then all of a sudden you're using a lint brush and uh, <laughs> you know, colors are coming off your figure. You guys are gonna come over to my channel and raise hell. But for the most part, this is just, you know, a jeans. You can just gently try to get anything that may have accumulated over the years. You know, it's, I know it's time consuming, but if you're a true collector and you love this hobby, you don't mind doing it. I don't mind doing it. It's fun for me. It gives me, gives me something to do. And then, you can go ahead and we'll see if it accumulated. Let me put him back on his stand because I don't want him to fall. Oh yeah, sorry. I have this stand set up so he can stand on his skateboard. So it kind of looks like he's skateboarding. Now let's see if this thing picked up anything off the figure. And it definitely did. You can see little tiny hairs and just various debris that just kind of built up. There's a bigger hair built up on the figure. Some more stuff that came off of it. So yeah, it definitely works. That's awesome. <laughs> well, Marty, you're definitely cleaner today. These are the tweezers that come with the kit. And you can use these for various things. Um, for example, if I had these tweezers a couple years ago, I might have just used them to, you know, gently apply the stickers. It would make, you know, probably my life a lot easier. You know, Marty's vest comes with extra sets of buttons, uh, mainly because sometimes they fall off. And, uh, you know, putting one of these buttons in this tweezer, if it, you know, you need to apply a little dab of glue, it, it can make things a lot more precise for you. Uh, another thing you can use tweezers for, which I really like, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend using metal tweezers uh, because you could potentially scratch the neck, but if you go out and get yourself some plastic tip or some so soft felt tip tweezers, they're really great for adjusting collars. Uh, you know, because your fingers are big and you're trying to get them, digging them down there, and I always use a pair of tweezers to kind of manipulate my uh, figure's clothing. I move things around, but in this case, I don't really recommend using the metal ones because you don't want to scratch or do any damage. So, uh, if you do get this kit, I'm sure you'll find a, a you know a reason to use these tweezers, but just be super careful so it doesn't scratch anything because they are really, really sharp. The next thing I want to go over are the little miniature scissors that come with the kit. Um, I tried to find a little loose piece of thread on Marty that I could cut off. Uh, I couldn't find any to show you as an example, so I'm just going to cut his uh, headphone cable in half right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hope I probably gave half of you a heart attack. Uh, no, I'm just joking. But the truth is that you're gonna have at times figures that have just an extra thread sticking out, maybe from the bottom of their their uh, you know pant leg or from their jacket or from their collar or wherever. And the last thing you ever want to do is grab that thread and pull on it because if you pull on it, it's going to destroy the seams and the stitchings of whatever outfit you're going to remove it from. What you do wanna do, however, is you could take these little miniature scissors and just simply get as close as you can, be really careful, take your time as close as you can to the thread's end and just give it a little snip. That's it, cut it off. Don't ever pull it because you will 
damage your figure and you're gonna regret it. The final little accessory that you get is a very, very soft um, fabric here that Sideshow included. And what you could use this for potentially is cleaning your accessories. Just wiping down any dust off of them. Just making sure that there are you know, no fingerprints on anything. Uh, for example, this is my custom Invisa stand that I designed with stony stands. Uh, and uh, I know for a fact that it's a fig fingerprint magnet. So s sometimes I just go along and clean off those fingerprints nicely so you don't see them when you put them on your shelf. That looks really good like that. And kind of grab it on the side and give the, the stands post a cleaning and get all that dust off of it and fingerprints off of it. Finally, when you're done with it, I guess this is one of the biggest perks of having this is you have everything all in one little spot right here in this box. So you can just pop them right back into the box and put them away and use them again for another day. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review uh, of a grown man cleaning his action figures. <laughs> and uh, if you have any other ideas or, or um, different techniques that you guys think that are, are good for cleaning your figures, please put them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it and I'm, I'm sure other people would love to also. Um, One Six Society did an article fantastic article on how to clean your your uh, action figures a couple months ago. I will link that into the description box below so you guys can also check that out. But um, I guess if you want to buy this, just go, um, you know, you can go over to Sideshow's website and they might have some. I'm not sure. Uh, I think they're 15 bucks. So, uh, all right, guys, thank you for watching my review and I will catch you at the next video. Thank you.